lap. I'm Aaron LaVoy, the Midwestern Hoof Trimmer, and the question that I was asked recently and have been asked a fair amount in the past is, why not just put those blocks on all the cow's hooves to prevent them from ever going lame? Seems like you wouldn't have to worry about things getting stuck up in there. I'm sure there's a reason why though. There is a reason why though, and we're gonna talk about it. Just as soon as I finish trimming this foot up. And this is really not that bad of a foot at all, but perfect time to inspect it and just tidy things up. So the question was, why don't we just put these blocks on to prevent things from working into the cracks? Kind of like how a horseshoe works, right? But see, the cow's foot's a little bit different. And we're gonna put that one down so that this girl doesn't have to sit there with her foot up while I'm talking to you. But the reason that we don't block the cow's feet to prevent is because the hoof horn is formed at about a quarter inch per month. Now, most of that's worn off, but not perfectly. But if we were to put blocks on the soles just for prevention, none of that hoof would wear off, causing further problems. When we put a block on a toe or a claw, it is to elevate the problem only, which is more important than wearing in the situation of a problem. So in that case, it is a good reason to do it. But just for prevention, the cow would not benefit. She would accumulate too much hoof too fast. And quite honestly, you guys usually see the problem feet because nobody wants to watch the regular trims, but we'll trim 370 feet in a day and maybe put on one block because we're here doing maintenance trying to keep these girls from having those problems or needing those blocks i hope that answers some of you guys' questions please keep them coming i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time catch you on the flip-flop bye